Good morning, Bobcat teachers and scholars. Today is Thursday, and we are going to have a terrific day. I can't wait to come around to see each of you, find out what you are learning, be ready to share. I will see you soon. Let's get started with the morning announcements. Good morning, Senior Hill Elementary students and staff. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, individual, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Bobcat affirmation. Go. Good morning, Senior Hill Elementary students. Bobcat affirmation. Bobcats are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership for my actions. I make wise choices. I am excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am understanding of differences. I am a leader. I am a Bobcat. Please pause for a moment of silence. Now, scholars, if you are new to the hill, I just wanted to give you just a little reminder that throughout the year, we have just because treat days. So you must always follow our three school-wide rules, which are to be respectful, responsible, and ready to learn because you never know if this day is a treat day. Teachers and scholars, thank you so much for participating in yesterday's theme day, Relax Your Shoe Game. We saw slippers, we saw clogs, we saw slides, we even saw a few sandals, and I appreciate how each of you even remembered to bring your tennis shoes so that you could safely play on yesterday. We can't wait to see who participated in today's theme. In other school-wide events and activities, scholars, today's theme is all mixed up. You were asked to search your closet and find things that do not match and wear them today. So you could have worn Mitchman clothing, Mix, mix shoes or put your clothes on inside out. We can't wait to see what you came up with for today. Tomorrow's theme is tie-dye parade. Go home, search your closet, find colors that are all swirled and mixed together and wear them on tomorrow to school. In our school at events and activities, on Monday, our grade K scholars will participate in their progression ceremony. This ceremony will take place at 9 a.m. And our seniors in the building, grade five, will have their progression ceremony 
on Tuesday morning. It will also take place at 9 a.m. Scholars, have you ever met an Olympic medalist? Well, here's your chance. We have been invited to join the 34th Annual Rochelle Stevens Invitational Track Meet. This track meet will take place on May the 25th at 8 a.m. That is the day after school lets out this school year. To join this track meet, it only costs $15. Now, teachers, I know you have some students in your room that run every chance they get. Be sure to let their parents know that they could win some medals and get those medals from an Olympic champion. Take a look at some of the past events. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the field, everybody hands go up. And they stay there, and they say yeah. Won't stop now. Whoa. Keep your hands up, get them in the sky for the homies that ain't making them. My folks lock down. Whoa. I never went nowhere. What they say in loot is back. Yeah. Blame it on that conjure. The hood call it loot a yak. Oh. And I'm on this foolish track. So I spit my foolish flow. Whoa. My hands go. Now, scholars, to register, I have placed a link at the top of the description box for today's morning announcements. So tell your parents to go to the YouTube page and when they click on the link, they'll be able to register you. I can't wait to see which of our scholars win these gold, silver, and bronze medals. Today we have one scholar to celebrate. It was on this day that the Zaya We don't have any birthdays born. today. Desire, Tomorrow, we are so have a birthday excited to have you time. with us today at the Hill so that we can celebrate just a piece of your special day with you. And we hope that this day brings you everything that makes you smile. Now, when you see Desire in the hallway, in the cafeteria, outside on the playground for recess, even if you don't see her until it is time for us to be dismissed from school this afternoon, be sure to give her a special Bobcat birthday shout out. Now, for those of you in the room with Desire right at this moment, help me wish her happy birthday by turning, pointing to her, and saying happy birthday. Today's classroom spotlight goes to our pre-K scholars in Miss Barrow's class. These scholars were caught 
following the 3R approach? Yes, these scholars were ready, responsible, and respectful when we visited their class this week. Keep up the great work. All right, scholars, it is time for our hard facts. And we are going to mix it up today. We have been doing multiplication, but today you must be ready. Today we are going to do addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, scholars, are you ready? Just a Fifty-six. Have you been studying your eight multiplication facts? I hope so because we will continue to spotlight the eights for the rest of this week. So during dismissal this afternoon, that would be a great time for you to review your eight multiplication facts. Sixty-two minus nine. Seventy-one. Is that correct, boys and girls? Let's use our count back strategy just to check my work. Because remember, we are looking for any mistake that I might make in my calculations. So let's put that big number in our head. That is 62. And we are to count backwards because we are subtracting. So we're counting backwards nine places. And let's do it together. Ready? Let's go. 61, 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53. Uh-oh. That was 53. I have 71. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Oh, I really have to pay attention to our symbols. That is a subtraction symbol. That means the number gets smaller. But instead, my number got larger. You know what that means? I, I accidentally added. But that's okay because you have helped me to check my work. And we know that the answer is 53. And that is why. We always want to use one of our math strategies to check our work. 88 minus 9. 79. Let's check my work using the count back strategy. Remember, you put the big number in your head and then you count backwards nine places. Let's do it together. Ready, go. 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80, 79. Oh, yes. Give yourself a hand clap of praise if you got that one correct. Thank you for helping me to check my work. In our national holidays, today is National Drawing Day. So scholars, you are encouraged to get out your drawing pads, your drawing paper, your pencils, and your crayons, and bring those things inside of your imagination to life. Today's challenge is to write a letter to a future Bobcat then draw a picture of your favorite memory of this school year so that your teacher can give your letter to a new student in their classroom next year. Today's read aloud. Remember, scholars, we are on book seven in the Magic School Bus series, Sunset of the Saber Tooth. On yesterday, we read the first three chapters of this book 
today we are starting at chapter 4. Before we read, I want you to make a prediction about what you think will happen when Jack and Annie enter the glowing cave. Teachers, we are starting at 9 minutes and 9 seconds and reading until 18 minutes and 43 seconds. We're reading until the beginning. Uh, we're reading chapters 4, 5, and 6 on today, and we will start at chapter 7 on tomorrow. In addition to our read aloud, we have our shape song for our pre-K and K scholars. We have our money song for our scholars in grades 1 and 2. We have our lights, camera, action, verbs for our scholars in grades 3. And lastly, we have our multiples of 9 for our scholars in grades 4 and 5. We also have our content connection, our pre-K, K1, grade 1, and grade 2 scholars are watching the Magic School Bus all dried up. And our scholars in grades 3, 4, and 5, we are still in our social studies connection. Today, we will learn about the very first 4th of July. In addition to these things, it's supposed to be a dry day, but I did include a couple of brain breaks for you in between your learning. Your learning today, scholars, remember, we are... We only have like six days to continue to prepare you for the next grade level. So your teachers will continue to push you forward and give you work to help you work on your foundational skills. On yesterday, I saw quite a few classes working on foundational math skills. We will continue to do that. And teachers, don't forget to have scholars to write so that we can make sure that they are ready for their next grade level. Now, on yesterday, the hallways were much quieter, so I think we might have a sweet treat for you on this day. I think it's a good day for a treat. Remember that when we are in the hall, we are always on zone zero because people are still learning inside of the classroom when you are on break and they are building their brilliance and we never want to disturb anyone who is working to get smarter. I'll be around to see you soon. Remember every day we're building brilliant bobcats. Because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future.